Hi, Meryl friends. So as we're talking about feelings this week, there's one big feeling that I think um, comes up a lot, and I want to talk about it, and this one is called, Is a Worry Worrying You? And this is by Frida Wolf and Harriet Mae Savitz, and it was illustrated by Marie Le Termineau. So let's see. A worry is a thought that stops you from having fun, from feeling good, from being happy. Don't bother looking for a worry because you'll never find it. It is invisible, but it seems very real. Suppose, just suppose, 100 elephants come to tea and you discover you don't have any tea bags. Uh-oh, what will you do with a herd of thirsty elephants? Now that's a worry. But you can get rid of that worry by offering the elephants lemonade instead. You can feel tired from a worry or sad or sick. A worry can feel like a heavy sack is on your back, only it isn't there. Suppose a gorilla at the playground borrows your skateboard and doesn't return it when he said he would. You give yourself a stomach ache because you're sure that he'll keep it forever. Now that's a worry. But you can get rid of that worry by going up to that gorilla and asking for it back. Or maybe you can make a deal. You borrow his rollerblades and the two of you can skate together. A worry can scare you out of your shoes. Suppose a monster moves in under your bed and you're afraid if you go to sleep it will do something horrible. So you stay awake all night. Now that's a worry. But you can get rid of that worry by singing the monster lullabies until you both fall asleep. A worry can make a perfect day seem gloomy. Suppose you're all ready for the first day of school, but you find out that your new teacher is a bear. What will happen if you forget your homework? Now that's a worry. But you can get rid of that worry by thinking about how your teacher might feel in a new class. You give her a jar of honey to make her feel welcome. Anyone can have a worry. Parents, teachers, brothers, sisters, friends. Suppose Camille the camel, who is your best friend, is getting ready for a fancy party and falls and scrapes her knees. She's worried that she won't be able to go, so she comes to you for help, but you don't know what to do. Now both of you have a worry. But you can get rid of both of your worries by putting bright pink bandages with yellow stars on her scraped knees, she smiles and goes off to the party while your worry disappears because you helped a friend. Now, did you hear that? You caught your friend's worry. Hmm. Very important to keep in mind that some worries are not yours to have. A worry isn't polite. It has no manner. It doesn't ask if it can enter, it just barges in, and it will stay as long as you let it. Hmm, as long as you let it. So you get to decide how long the worry stays. Suppose Uncle Herman is coming to visit, and you'll know he'll want to see you, but his voice is as loud as a roaring lion, and it makes you want to run away. Now that's a worry. But you can get rid of that worry by remembering that you always have a good time with Uncle Herman because he likes to play board games with you and he doesn't talk so much then. Get out your checkers. Here he comes. Most of the time, something you worry about never happens. Suppose you see a rhinoceros walking on the other side of the street. He's so big and strong. What if he were to cross over and hit you? That is a worry. But he's on his way to the store and never even looks at you. Hmm, she was worried about the rhino. He didn't even see her. A worry is as big or as small as you let it be. Suppose a bald eagle makes a nest in your tangled hair and you think everyone will laugh at you because you have an eagle on your head. Or worse, it will build a nest so big that you won't be able to get it out. Or even worse than that, it will think you're a newborn eaglet and fly away with you and you'll never see your family again. 
Whew, that seemed a little extreme. Now that's certainly a worry, but you can stop that worry as soon as it gets started by getting a haircut. The eagle will just have to find another tangle to build its nest. I don't know if you're noticing a pattern here. Every time there's a worry, they come up with a solution so that the worry can't happen. Hmm. So how can you get rid of a worry once it starts worrying you? You can. Imagine it away. Put it in a suitcase and send it packing. Seal it in an envelope and mail it away. Stand it in the corner while you have fun. Hide it in the closet and close the door. Do something else. Take out your deck of cards and don't let it play. Write a story. Play with a friend. Bake a cake. Face it. Look at it and see if it makes any sense. Tell it to go away. Discuss your worry with someone else. Work on the thing that is worrying you. Think about another thought. Remember a good time that you had. Think about what you are doing and not about what might happen. Replace a worry with a happy thought. Let a worry thought remind you to smile. A worry knows something that you should know. You can't, you can get rid of a worry anytime you want. Just takes a little patience. Don't worry, you can do it. So this book is saying that we all have things that we worry about. Some things are real things to worry about, and some things are just silly things that we worry about for no good reason, because they'll probably never happen. But you can get rid of your worry by not feeding it. You don't want to feed your worry. You want to tell your worry, that's nothing to be concerned about, and your worry will go away. So I want you to be thinking a little bit about how you can get rid of some of your worries you might be having right now. Maybe you're worried about what summer's going to look like. Maybe you're worried about missing your friends. You can always talk to an adult to help with your worries. Be safe, everyone.